good morning everybody and another round of coffee and questions and so i had a buddy of mine call me and he said hey you should see this collet set i bought for controlling the depth on drilling you know come on over and take a look at it and i said okay he got them off amazon and it came in a set like you see here in the picture i'm not sure exactly where he bought them but there's plenty of them available they have a little set screw any allen wrench will fit into them and tighten them up on the shaft of the drill bit that way you have absolute precise depth in your drilling especially if you have to drill like a whole bunch of holes over and over and over and over and you have to keep doing that however what i told him is i said well you know look i just goof around you know at home i mean you know doing hobby work and stuff like that and i go i got a different approach i go so you know it's cheap it's easy it works for me and so i thought i'd make a good video so i'll show you a couple of things that i do maybe you know they help you in what you're doing so i'm going to change the picture we'll get right to the point no long intros like i always say so let me show you the first picture we'll talk about it and i'll answer some questions okay i mean first up we'll talk about just here's a drill bit and it has this dowel on there or this scrap piece of wood with a hole drilled through it i got this off of the web this is exactly the way that i do it i started off with a block of wood in the drill press i drilled a hole through it I figured out the depth that I wanted and that I was going to put on the drill bit and I just cut it off and then all I do is adjust the drill bit in and out of the chuck of the drill like you see here in the picture and I use this piece of wood this dowel that's got the hole through it as a stop so now I can repeat those holes over and over and over and it's plenty accurate for me when I'm using like my cordless or even a corded drill so i think this approach works it's fast it's easy it didn't cost anything to do i did it out of scrap wood i have one other way that i do it and i do it on my drill press let me change a picture i'll show you you'll be surprised how easy it is one sec okay and this is the other method uh when i have it on a drill press i just use a piece of blue masking tape or any kind of masking tape um, i had somebody said why can't you just use a felt marker well you can, I don't like doing it that way. I just use a piece of tape and I've got plenty of this blue painter's tape laying around. So I figure out the depth that I want and I just wrap a piece of tape around it. And as I'm drilling down, when it gets to the very tip or edge of that paper, I know that I'm good. Is it incredibly precise? No, but it's good enough for me on most projects. Now, the other thing I put up here is a Kreb. Uh, well, I call them, you know, Kreb discs, but um, what they're used for is cleaning, you know, belt sanders and any kind of sanding paper. And you can pick these up online at Amazon. You can get them out at Harbor Freight. Like I said, they're eight bucks, like a big thick piece of rubber. You touch it to the sandpaper and it will get it real clean again. So it increases the longevity of your sanding paper. So um, I threw this up for completion. Somebody asked me on the past video that I did relating to sanding. You know, how often do I have to change sanding discs and sanding paper? Well, I don't have to do it that often as long as I'm cleaning the sanding paper when I'm done. But when it's worn, it's worn, and it's not that good anymore, and it's not cutting, then it's time to change it. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to create depth gauges on your drill press or, you know, your cordless or your corded drills. Okay, I'm the Home Handyman. This is your quick tip of the day. I hope you click subscribe, drop me a comment if you've got a better way of doing it or there's some other product out there that's also equally as good. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. You folks have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.